Uh, Full Circle Nation, it's Dean here, Full Circle Weekly. Um, just wanted to kind of give you a quick uh, update on exactly, that was impressive, on uh, exactly what we're doing. So, dump truck plan, right? What our dump truck plan is, is what, and here's the initial plan that I'll tell you, um, is that we're gonna buy a dump truck when we're booked out eight weeks of landscape work, which is a lot of money in our in cash, which is great as we pass a couple new dump trucks. But um, and once we uh, build up a lot of money in cash, which will be great, um, you know, we'll have somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 grand in the account, of, you know, uh, from this season only uh, at that point. But we decide, you know what, that's not gonna be the move because, uh, you know, if once we're eight week, working eight weeks out, we close such a low percentage of sales because people wanna get their stuff done immediately. So um, I think what our plan is is to buy it sooner. I don't. I think maybe until we hit the 25k mark, like Mike was talking about, is probably a good plan because at that point we have seven, eight, nine employees, um, and you know we, we want to be able to run payroll at least twice. I would say you know just if no other expenses are covered, at least be able to run payroll twice. So, uh, which, excuse me, um, which at that point is around 12 grand, so it makes sense on like 25 in the account. Uh, what the plan is going to be is going to be to buy a dump truck and then to um, basically take the truck and run it as, um, uh, sorry about that, take the truck and um, yeah, basically use a dump truck uh, as a second landscape crew to do landscape stuff and maybe, you know, as the season goes on, we can even hire a hardscape guy if we keep getting hardscape jobs like we do. We do have to figure out design and everything, but besides the point uh, more importantly you know just uh, it's about the dump truck and getting another piece of equipment that can make money for us like I mean like I talked about with Mike on our call I don't know if you watched it um, I think it is important that we, we keep cash and we keep continue to be profitable this year the goal is profit this year so uh, we just got to make sure to keep focused on that um, and I think we are by buying the dump truck because it'll make this money back this year so peace What's up, Full Circle Nation? It's Dean here, back with another episode of Full Circle Weekly. Um, what we're looking at this week, you know, a bunch of interesting shit going on here. Um, so yeah, I want to buy a dump truck. We got the dump truck plan. I think I explained that. But uh, sadly, the dump truck plan is not coming to fruition. Not because we're making the sales. Like, the sales numbers are... Uh, that's my excited sales thing. Uh, the sales numbers are going up. But they sold my dump truck. Um, so I think I might... I mean... Looking at it, we have a couple options here. You know, the Mike Andy's option, or the one that would make Mike the happiest, would be to buy like a cheap truck. Even if I buy like a 250 or something, uh, which I probably do. There's a reason for another 150. But if I bought like another 250 or a 350, maybe even, um, and then put, uh, and then just put the guys in there, and you know, got most delivered to jobs, or just bought a dump trailer. Um, you know, I'm not anti-dump truck, I like them, they're good, but like, you know, for a lot of reasons, dump trucks are just a little easier, I think, a lot of times to use than dump trailers. Dump trailers are kind of a pain in the ass, in my opinion. Like, you know, you're you're uh, trying to, you know, they're just, they're just long and, although they're lower, which is great, although they can hold more, generally, which is great, the problem is just the amount of, uh, the amount of pain it takes, it, like how painful it is to try to use them is kind of uh like you know just trying to back up with them and uh mainly backing up with them driving them you have to have a DOT medical card whereas if, if we got a, a 450 f450 we don't need a DOT medical card which is great i mean obviously we get in a 550 we do need one still what's going on youtube it's dean from full circle landscape solutions here uh you know what's going on full circle nation uh i'm actually here to pick up my girlfriend uh you know just gonna spend uh you know a little bit of time with her always nice but um you know more importantly not more importantly i shouldn't say that but uh what's been on my mind lately is i decided that we're gonna buy a dump truck um a couple reasons why i've been back and forth between dump truck or you know f250 or 350 and a dump trailer um this is kind of just the evolution of my decision matrix decision making uh process if you will and basically what it comes down to is now it's all financials basically you know they're not a lot of emotion in these decisions anymore i was like at least i'd like to hope so so um yeah basically where this one came in was a couple things number one for the dump truck is uh you see them everywhere for landscapers and there has to be a reason why you don't see as many dump trailers unless they're owner operators or smaller companies um you know you don't see a, a lot of um massive companies running all dump trucks and you know one of the biggest reasons why is if you imagine like i was just thinking i was like dang like imagine if i had 20 like because we're gonna get to 25 crews hopefully relatively soon and i was like damn like 
if I get to 25 crews and I have a, uh, a if I'm, I have 25 dump trailers, 25 F250s, that sounds miserable. Um, you know, trying to maintain all those tires, all that stuff, all the brakes, everything um, sounds pretty awful. So definitely gonna try to avoid that, um, which is what we're doing. Um, the other thing is, you know, the cost of, cause they're gonna be used, I mean, we're gonna be buying the F2, the F550 uh, we're gonna be buying, I think is gonna actually be not a brand new one. It actually is gonna be some, maybe a 2019 one or even a 20, uh, even maybe, uh, you know, or we could be a brand new one. We're definitely gonna pre-order one for next year um, to have. But, uh, so the reason why we're doing that, um, I think the biggest one is just, uh, you know, breakdown costs, right? Breakdown time, we have zero um, and no, and almost no maintenance costs for the first couple of years, hopefully, uh, you know, other than standard stuff, uh, no downtime, which is going to be massive because um, obviously that, that hurts us a lot and makes it so I am not focused 100% on just selling, which is what I should be focused on. Um, another big thing, big reason why I made that decision was... Uh, just looking at, you know, overall cost of ownership for the total cost of ownership, dump truck, dump truck resale value is very, very high, even higher than trucks, trucks in general, just because they're always, uh, super, super, um, you know, super useful and they can always be used as obviously dump trucks. So, um, for that reason, the cost of ownership, total ownership's lower. The other reason is financing. Um, we can finance the trucks, which is, you know, some people are anti-finance. I'm actually relatively pro-finance. I don't think financing everything is that great of an idea. That being said, I think for the landscaping side, it'll definitely be a um, a really big helper to finance growth. I, I think, you know, from this point forward, when I think about it, we're probably going to finance dump trucks and mowers. We're going to keep the mowing the mowing trucks uh, not financed uh, partially because those can't do anything in the winter. At least the landscaping trucks can kind of snow plow snow. Um, but that's not really the reason why either. It's just because they're cheaper and, you know, who gives it? Like, they're not actually towing that much weight and, you know. You could always easily easily buy an extra 1500 for a couple grand. It's not a big deal. It's the 2500 3500s that really get expensive. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Uh, another reason why I think we made the um, the call to go with the... And then just, you know, F450 versus F550. The only difference is there the F550 can is a 19,000-pound GVW versus the F450, which is a 16,000-pound GVW. Um, which means, and the, the difference is though, 18,000 pounds is a cutoff in PA between no DOT medical card and DOT medical card. Um, the reason why we went with the DOT medical card route is because obviously all of our employees are background check, drug test drivers, I can speak English. So to pay the hundred, what it call it, 150 bucks tops for the DOT medical card, they'll get it on their own time to pay that once every two years at $75 a year per employee. And just the slight amount of time it takes to manage that. Even if you get to 25 crews, let's say we have hundred employees. Like to manage that Excel spreadsheet at the, you know, at the worst, super easy. I mean, so I'm not really worried about that. And that extra couple tons in there is just great. You know, you can't tow a trailer anyway, and you could still tow a trailer that weighs less than 10,000 pounds behind it um, with, with either one, but it doesn't, you know, either one, we, we still can't tow our dump trailer. Um, you know, at 16,000 pounds, it's 26. So like the way the weight works, it doesn't matter. Like literally the only difference is a DOT medical card, and I don't mind that. I'd rather have the extra tonnage for more hauling stone and stuff. Um, as far as build of the dump trucks, what I'd love to do, and I think the first one isn't going to be this way just because I can't find one, but I'm going to custom order one for next season. What we're going to do is we're going to do standard cab, toolbox, 14 foot bed. Um, I think that's going to be the best setup. This one is going to be a, um, it's going to be standard cab, 14 foot bed, no toolbox in the middle. So we're just going to add them on the sides, I think. Um, or who knows, we might buy a 450 that does have that. And then next year just buy a 550. So I'm not crazy, crazy partial. I just like to have the extra weight just in case. Um, so yeah, I think that'll be a massive help, but um, that's pretty much the um, the entirety of that decision making uh, that I that you know was where we came from there. The biggest things, like I said, were the total cost of ownership, being able to finance the equipment, um, you know, the ease of way easier to use, easier to teach, easier to learn. Like imagine trying to teach 100 employees how to back up a trailer it doesn't sound particularly fun. So you know, all that uh, played a role. So. Um, yeah, and then just maintenance costs. So that's all I got for this one. I appreciate you guys tuning in and see you next one. See you in the next one. Peace.